In 1960, Frank Morris, a very intelligent criminal with several escapes from government structures in which he was a prisoner, is taken to the maximum security prison on Alcatraz Island. This prison is different from the ones it was in before, because there are no good recovery programs. No outside news is allowed, each detainee is locked up alone, and visitors must be searched and vetted by the FBI. Meanwhile, the opportunity to work is a privilege to be earned. Every morning a prisoner count is made. During breakfast there, Frank clashes with Litmus, an eccentric man who likes to ask other outfits for food to give to him, and somebody, whom he secretly takes everywhere with him. Frank can't help but notice that a huge man, known as Wolf, keeps looking at him and sending threatening gestures. Later he is taken to the director, who explains the rules Frank must follow and asks him the names of people he would like to authorize as visitors. But Frank has no one in his life, not even a family. The director lets him go with a warning. No one has ever escaped from Alcatraz, and no one ever will. This meeting does not end up being completely useless. In fact, when his direct isn't looking, Frank steals his groin, which he drops into a Bible in his cell. When it comes time to shower, Wall approaches Frank and says that now he will be his object of fun. Frank reacts by hitting him several times and puts soap in his mouth. Frank is sent to help at the library, and there he meets English, a black man who has two life sentences. Ten years ago he killed two men in self-defense, but since they were two whites, the judges preferred to convict him rather than dispense justice. Since prisoners are not allowed to enter the library, Frank's job today is to walk through the cells with a cart and give magazines and books to anyone who wants them. During his break in the courtyard, Frank meets Doc, an elderly inmate who spends his time painting. He is incredibly talented, and the subjects of his paintings range from prisoner to director, and all portraits include a crisis in theme. He expresses concern for Frank's life after making Wolf an enemy. After that, Frank goes to talk to English, who tells him all the details he knows about the prison's anti-evasion measures. He explains that few men managed to escape from their cells, which in itself was an extremely difficult task. Even if someone manages to get outside, there is a much bigger problem. Alcatraz being an island lies a mile from the coast, and the water is very cold. A few days later, while talking to Lidmus in the courtyard, the latter mentions that there are ventilation ducts above them. The only option would be to find a way to get up there. Suddenly, Wolf comes behind Frank with a knife, which he manages to levitate just in time thanks to a warning from Doc. The two men begin a fight that the guards stop, firing warning shots, and Wolf and Frank are taken to solitary confinement because his director doesn't care that Frank reacted in self-defense. They are locked in special cells called holes, because prisoners are locked in darkness and without any human contact. The only visit Frank receives is a guard who uses a hose to splash him with cold water. Frank is released a few days later, while Wolf is still in prison for starting the fight and using a knife. That night, Frank receives a visit from Lithmus Mouse, who brings a note saying welcome back. A few weeks later, Frank befriends an inmate egg assigned to the cell next to him, Charlie Butts, who introduces him to other friends when they meet in the yard. While all the prisoners are outside, the headmaster walks around the cells, checking that everything is in order, and surprises Doc by painting him. The portrait is very well done, but in order to be cruel he permanently revokes Doc's permission to paint. When he sustains a guard to take the paint and pun, Doc is troubled because painting is all he had. After gaining privilege in a job, Frank agrees to join the carpentry team. While working, he can't help but notice that Doc is feeling sick and tries to warn the guard, who simply ignores him. When Doc's depression grows up, he asks for an axe, which he later uses to cut off his fingers so he can be transferred out. After finding a chrysanthemum that he left in his pocket, Frank gathers his fingers and puts them in a box he gives to the guard telling him she hadn't listened to him. During dinner, Frank gets a pleasant surprise. Brothers John and Clarence were transferred to Alcatraz and just like him and a great escapee, so they were sent to Alcatraz for it. One dull afternoon, Frank notices a cockroach in his cell, which escapes through the grill on the wall, which is surrounded by very weak concrete. So that gives him an idea. He uses the nail clipper he forks and tries to chip the concrete around the grid and manages to break it successfully. With a little patience, there's a chance he can make a hole big enough to go through. When the day of the visit comes, two of Frank's friends meet their relatives. English receives a visit from his daughter, who tells him that he will soon get married. Charlie is visited by his wife, who announces that his mother has a few months to live. Desperate because he wants to see his mother before she dies, Charlie tells Frank that if he can find a way to escape, he wants to participate. This leads Frank to tell Charlie and the Anglin brothers about his discovery at dinner. The concrete and metal grill has been weakened by the humid sea air, so it looks like a negro over just a matter of time so they can get out on the roof. 
To hide the hole while working on it, they can use magazines and create a fake wall. They can also hide the hole with some joints, like towels, while Frank will use an accordion box on the pretext of learning how to use it. They can also use cardboard to make shapes on their beds so they can escape at night and only be discovered the next morning. The Anglin brothers do the work at the barbershop and in a clothing store, so one of them can take hair and mannequins, and the other can steal some capes and life jackets that he can use to cross the bay. Frank starts working on the hole more often and Charlie checks if the guards come, but using the nail clipper becomes extremely difficult as it causes pain in his fingers. So the next day, during meals, he uses a shoe to lower the spoon and immediately asks for another one, while one of the brothers talks to the guard to keep him talking. Frank takes two tablespoons instead of one and takes one into the cell. Later, when English comes to leave the magazines, Frank asks him if there's a way to weld the metal right there in the cell. And English promises to learn it. A few days later, Lidmus gives Frank a coin in exchange for 15 sweets. Frank uses the coin to create a new tool. Cut the spoon to take the handle, light a bunch of matches to melt the coin, and weld the spoon handle to the nail file. Now he has a suitable rod to dig faster. And thanks to Charlie's warning, he returns to the bed when the guard passes. After many days of snowing, he manages to remove all the concrete from the grid, but finds that it is impossible to remove it from the wall with his hands. When he goes to work by chance, he gets an iron feather that has to help him. The only problem is getting it through the metal detector, but Frank has a plan. As he leaves the building, Frank knocks on the detector, intentionally pointing to the feather in his hand and telling the guard that he needs to hang his clothes. The guard doesn't believe him and searches him by checking Frank's pockets. Since they can't find anything, they allow him to leave. Frank returns to his cell, with him at two wedges, hidden in the heel of his shoe. In the following moments, Charlie and the England brothers also begin to dig. They also start working on cardboard mannequins using the pages of a magazine, mixing them with water and concrete dust they get from snow. Charlie orders a set of paint. Pretending to have chosen his new hobby, but uses paint to color mannequins and paint cardboard pretending to be wall grills. Once Frank's dummy is ready, with lots of bets that the Anglin brothers got from the barbers, he puts it under the cover and eventually goes into the hole to see what's on the other side. He finds stairs leading to the service corridor that allow him to find ventilation ducts, but they are put on top of the ceiling. Meanwhile, a guard appears and does the control. The first time the guard notices something strange, but the next time he starts to become suspicious because he finds it strange that Frank is not moving. His suspicions grow when he drops the cane and the noise does not wake Frank. But when she gets to deal with Frank, he's already in bed. The next day he tells his friends what he found and asks the others if they are finished. The brothers finish digging, but Charlie stayed behind. Later that night, Frank and John enter the service corridor so they can hide the capes he stole from the clothing store and check the ventilation shaft. John picks Frank up so he can get to the vent and takes a closer look, realizing he needs tools to open it. They also see there an outlet on the wall. The next day I'm in the music room, practicing with the band, and Frank asks Litmus to get an extension cord and drill. Litmus agrees after Frank promises to give her all his sweets. Now that they have all the tools, Frank and John go back there to get the job done. Frank enters the ventilation duct and using the drill removes the bolts from the metal plates. Many months have passed since Frank's support and the group is finally ready to escape. Charlie is worried that his false grid keeps falling, but John informs him that the raft will be ready the following Tuesday, so Frank decides to escape on Tuesday night. One morning during breakfast, Frank pulls out Doc's chrysanthemum. Litmus is surprised to see her because it reminds her of him and Doc when they planted flowers together. But the director has another reaction. Chrysanthemum reminds him of paintings, so he approaches the table and crushes it, that it is against the regulation. This infuriates Litmus, who tries to jump over him, but feels sick and dies shortly after. After this, the director becomes suspicious of Frank and orders inspection of his cell. They find nothing strange and Grilla Falsa manages to fool them. But the headmaster is still concerned, so he orders a guardian to transfer Frank to another cell. The transfer from one cell to another will take a few days, but it will be done on Tuesday morning. The next day, the group discovers that Wolf has returned from isolation and vows revenge on Frank. So Frank decides they're going to escape tonight instead of Tuesday. Wolf tries to kill Frank during the walk in the yard, but English stops him and takes him to his gang, saying he will pay scum if he continues to do so. When night falls, the time has finally come for the long-awaited escape. Frank and England successfully trick the guards with their dummies and enter the corridor, but Charlie lacks courage and remains in his cell, crying. The trio climbs into the ventilation shaft and exits onto the roof, where they continue to watch the movement of the headlights. They manage to go to the roof and find pipes near the wall with which they descend. 
I reach the yard, where I bypass the lights and reach the fence. Meanwhile, Charlie decides to sneak into the hole, but when he reaches the ventilation shaft, he can't get to it because he needs someone to lift it, so he returns to his cell to spend the rest of the night depressed for the missed opportunity. Meanwhile, Frank and Anglins climb over the barbed wire and then run down the beach. There they inflate the raft and jump into the water while using their feet to note. The next morning, guards check the cells, discovering the dummies, and conduct a massive search of the prison and the entire island. You find some personal belongings of the inmates floating in the bay, leading the director to believe that they have drowned. The fugitives were never found, and the Alcatraz prison was closed a year later.